what is up youtube what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today i am going to be showing you guys how to find off-market deals we just arrived in alabama so uh we came from georgia y'all already know how i rock we always in alabama moving around because we find the best deals in alabama all right so y'all make sure y'all stay tapped in we got here at the uh, world renowned bucky's man you know uh, yeah bucky's <laughs> so it's always like my little pit stop that i made right here gas up you know just want some water that's it <laughs> we moving, we moving, we on the fly, y'all. We on the fly, man. Cause we gotta get these signs out. We gotta gas up, we gotta get these signs out. And once we get these signs out, we gonna start looking for some motion. See, I like those off-market deals because, man, and the reason why I put those signs out but it's because I really don't like calling people, hassling people, so I just like to put signs out and generate those phone calls like that. I mean, when I tell you it's hot here in Alabama, man, I had a tenant call me the other day. We fixed, we put, we added a Freon to a unit. We put um, fan motor on. Unit still freezing up. Man, I tell you. But, uh, the good thing is I know how to troubleshoot. So what I do is I'm able to kind of tell my tenants what to do over the phone. So that worked out. You know, I told her to turn the fan on because if you run the fan uh, while the unit is off, the fan helps defrost the unit. You know, sometimes these units, when it's hot like this here in Alabama, man, it's 100 degrees, about 101. And they probably feel hotter than that because of the humidity. You know, these units, they, they work as hard as they can. So um, that's a good thing too, if you're able, able to uh, troubleshoot without having to call somebody out, you know. Um, that's, I'm telling y'all, man, that's a, that's a hell of an expense with that, uh, with that unit. Um, I had to spend like $570 on this week on, uh, on the AC unit, so hey. It is what it is, man. That's just a part of the game. That's why I always tell people, like, real estate is a numbers game. You know, the more uh, units you have, you know, the better it work out. Uh, man, because I make anywhere from 5,000 a month to like 9,000 a month on my rental properties. But that's gonna depend on if I got any expenses for that month, so, you know. But it, it all works itself out because I have a uh, quite a few it's a great number that I have that I can actually uh, do pretty well off of you ain't gonna get rich but you you'll do okay you'll be all right you know yep and these are the signs guys so like I put these signs out and man they work they like crack they really work these signs man you put these signs out but the great thing is too, like I have the money to buy the houses. I'm not just out here um, moving reckless. Uh, if you put these type of signs out, just know people gonna call you and you gotta be prepared to make the move. Um, you gotta go view the house, inspect it, make sure it's a good deal. And that's normally what I do. So really I'm just trying to generate a few phone calls, uh, grab a few properties and for good deals, because uh, with these right here, man, most of these people who call me are always going through like a situation and you always able to help them some kind of way. Uh, and we do a quick close as well. So, hey man, y'all follow the journey, man, all day, rocking. Let's go. So we just arrived in Montgomery, Alabama. I got my signs ready to rock out. And then, um, I just put out one so far, <laughs> but uh, 
what I do is I normally like to put my signs up like in busy high traffic areas. And most of the time I put them on the corners. So on corner lots. Um, I only got about 10, I think about 10 signs, but you get the gist. Um, say like I'm over here, right here by the hospital. And so I'll go put a sign up right here on the, on this corner lot right here. And Sundays are, you know, like a, probably a good time to do it because it ain't a lot of people out. You don't have to worry about a lot of traffic. So um, that's normally what I'll do. Um, now you could get distribution for it. You can get somebody to put them out yourself, but shoot, sometimes it's just good to move around yourself. Just a little tag, so show y'all how we do it, how we do it. I'm lit up, I'm lit up, I'm lit up. Yeah. All right, so I got my We Buy Houses signs, and this all I do is just put them out on the, on the street. Man, real estate is a hustle, man. It's a hustle and it's a numbers game, you know? The more people you get calling you, the better off or the better your chances are of securing a, a deal or a property, you know? So I'll just put it, let's see, we'll place it over here, right here, like so. Woo, see that, that ground? That ground ain't soft. So, we'll try to get it in there as good as possible. Whew. There we go. So. We should have some motion. <laughs> should get some motion. See, that's that. That's that ammunition. I call those. I call signs, flyers, any type of guerrilla marketing. That's like ammunition. So, yeah, man. So, like when you. When you're out here moving around doing that type of stuff, uh, wholesaling, just be honest with people. You know, um, if you ain't got no money, just tell them, hey, I'm a wholesaler. But I deal with some investors, local investors who are looking to purchase homes. Are you okay with me, you know, selling your home, marketing your property, and getting, you know, the money that you want? Because most people who are reaching out to you, they got a problem anyway. So it's okay to, you know, be, uh, to move with morals and integrity with the game. The problem is a lot of people don't like to move like that. They don't like to be honest with the, with the people and telling them, hey, I'm a wholesaler. I do X, Y, Z. Pretty much explaining what they do. They pretty much try to make it seem like they buying the house. And that's not what they are doing. And so, when they put it on the contract, people are, are under that impression that, you know, they gonna purchase the home and 30 days roll around and nothing has happened. Um, they haven't even bought it. Can't even close a deal. And so you don't wanna be in that situation. That's why it's best to be just straight up with people. Say, hey, I'm a wholesaler. I know some local investors, cash buyers. Um, and you don't have to stick like a crazy fee on top of it. If they want $35,000 for their house, you could stick a fee of 40,000, you know, just so you can move it fast. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, man, a lot of times people are just greedy. You can't be greedy. You gotta get what you can. Cause one thing about it, man, life happens every day. And they're going to have another house, another house, another house. So, ain't no need to be in greedy, man. Let's sit back and, uh, you know what I mean, get your money. Sit back and get your money, man. Have some fun in the process. I mean, I mean maybe $150 or something. 150 to make how much is inevitable, you know what I mean? Yeah, it can take you a long way. A hundred and fifty can make you your first five or ten thousand dollars, or more than that. 
You know what I mean? Cause you might you might bump into you might bump into an investor who has a hundred thousand to spend, and you find him a few houses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It don't stop, man. It don't stop. So I'm gonna put one dead center in the middle over here. Now sometimes they might move your signs. They may not. But you might generate you might generate enough enough action. You might generate another action. After the fact, you get what I'm saying? So, but again, the key is to just get it out there. That's it. And a city like this right here, I would say about 50 signs will do you real good. Cause you go, oh man, listen man. They call all the time. I get calls all the time. When I put these out, yeah. I always get calls. Never fails. Um, places like Walmart, uh, that's real busy. They have a lot of lot of traffic. Like I said, it's all about getting that, you know, getting noticed. You want your signs to be noticed. So, and the thing about a city like this right here, there are a lot of out-of-state investors. People will be amazed that you know how many people from California, New York, and yeah, that's what I hear, like, Georgia. That's oh yeah, it's heavy. It's heavier than you really know. Um, and see, that's the thing. Like when people who live in a certain area, a lot of times you don't even understand the dynamics of what's really going on. You get what I mean? Like people will say, "Well, man, you getting that much money in Montgomery for uh, you know, for a bed one bedroom apartment?" And I'd be like, "Yeah." But they don't, a lot of people don't think that you can get that, like, where it's located. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what, you know what I mean? But, man, listen, what I realized about being in real estate, man, housing is needed. There's a shortage. There's a lot of people who are on waiting lists just looking for an opportunity. Yeah, see, to, that's what I was uh, more worried about, how many people need, like, just places yeah. to stay and stuff like that. Yeah, the demand. Yeah, the demand is crazy for housing. And that's why I said like, a lot of times you it's easy to underestimate where you live. Cause I didn't know that either until I dove into the game. You get what I mean? When I dove into the real estate game of investing and learning that, man, it was just a whole entire game changer. You know what I mean? So like y'all see how we got signs up and stuff like this right over here. All right, I'll put I'll put a sign over in here. So like I said, I try to go where it's, where it's real busy at. You know what I'm saying? So let me see. Uh, watch yourself, Jay. I need to turn that sign around because it's, it's double sided. But I'm gonna tell you something too. You're gonna have some haters. Yeah. They're gonna move your signs, they're gonna tear them up. You know, that's just, that's what some wholesalers do, man. And it's sad because when I see people signing around, I ain't moving it. I don't care. It's just part of the game. Yeah. It's all right. But see, again, that would have come with greed. Yeah. So this is my last sign that I'm putting out. Uh, normally I like to target like the gas stations, like I said, Walmart, uh, Target, all those like busy areas and those areas that are um, by like the expressway and stuff like that. So, um, let's see. Let's see where we're going to put this one. Stay two sided, so. Uh, like that. Let's see. <coughs> All right, so that's normally how I go about the process of you know grabbing off-market deals. Like I said, guys, it's so competitive out here right now. 
And right now, the best time to get out here and market yourself on the We Buy Houses and find great deals, because that's how I find great deals. Um, if you are interested in like a day with me, you want to move around with me for a day, just uh, check me out. Just uh, go to the link in the description. You're more than welcome to uh, follow me along. I don't mind. That's more like what I'm trying to get everything towards anyway. I'm trying to get away from the courses. Not completely, but I want to do more hands-on with everybody. All right. So I appreciate you guys for tapping into the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like, and share this channel with all of your people. I'll holler at you guys. Peace out.